So we are standing now on a construction site of 300 meter long Curzon number no. 3 viaduct. Curzon number no. 3 viaduct is the last viaduct on the suite of five Curzon approach viaducts, starting in Nadestan Junction, continuing through Curzon number no. 1, Curzon number no. 2, Lolly Midway, and finally arriving here in Curzon Street. After a month of hard work and preparation, we finally pulled the first permanent pier of Curzon number no. 3 viaduct, and today is the grand opening day it's unveiling. In total, we will install 30 reinforced concrete piers with varying heights between 5 and 6 meters. In addition to that, we will install four steel tripods over Digbed Branch Canal. So over the last year, we installed the foundation for Curzon No. 3 viaduct, which consists of more than 200 reinforced concrete piles up to 30 meters in depth. Last year, we finalized our trial pier. Uh, this year, we are focusing on the specific sequence of works which we've developed through uh, the construction of the trial pier. So behind me, you can see uh, one stage of the construction. So all the reinforcement is prefabricated separately in a, in a jig and then lifted into position. And the formwork, the formwork panels in uh, orange, are kind of wrapped around the reinforcement cage before the pool. we can say that the pier will take between three and four weeks to construct. After finishing at least four piers, we will start the construction of the reinforced concrete deck. At its widest point, the viaduct measures around 65 meters, that's on the interface with the Curzon Street station, and it takes HS2 uh, from three trucks to up to seven trucks uh, at the station. Once the deck is completed, it creates opportunities for usable and flexible public space beneath. In BBV, as a team, we've looked at using more eco-friendly materials for the construction of the uh, piers and subsequently uh, on the deck. We are using a concrete with more than 75% of GGBS. GGBS is a ground granulated blast furnace slug. It's a byproduct of steel industry. And by that, we are reducing the carbon footprint of the viaduct by 60%. I'm very excited for the first permanent structure uh, to come uh, off the ground. It's a fantastic achievement for HS2, but also for BBV and Curzon Street team as a whole after all the hard work over the last couple of years.